Guys, this is Mubeen from Dr. Bean. We have been receiving more questions about the coronavirus or the novel coronavirus, so I thought I'll do one more discussion about it. So look, novel coronavirus is a type of virus, and viruses are microscopic or electron microscopic uh, pathogens or infectious agents that can only replicate in some host. For example, us or plant or some, some other animal. Now, coronavirus has multiple species. There are coronavirus species that live in animals and there are coronavirus species that live in humans. Almost all of us have coronavirus in us. And this has been for hundreds of years. So it is not that, hey, Dr. Mubin said I have coronavirus and now I'm gonna have a problem. No, the human species of coronaviruses have been identified in us since 1960s and 70s. Normally, these human species do not cause lots of harm. Every year, about 10 to 15% of us develop cold-like symptoms because of these coronaviruses that are human species, and these are pretty benign. They're not very harmful. The reason these are not harmful is that they replicate at 32 to 35 degrees centigrade, which is, remember our normal body temperature is about 37 degrees centigrade. So 32 to 35 degrees centigrade is the temperature here in the cold area of the, of the airways. And that is why human species replicate better in the upper respiratory tract area. Now the animal species of coronaviruses, they have the reservoir in bats. And from bats, they usually do not just jump over to humans. They usually spill over or jump to some intermediate animal. And from there, they can actually come in contact with humans and go to humans. It is rare, but it happens. So far, this pandemic is the third time coronavirus animal species has jumped from animals to humans. The first time they jumped was 2002 in China, where coronavirus species from bats spilled over in civet cats. And in the animal market, civet cats were sold or traded or present. And from there, they spilled over into humans. The cause of the spillover can be multiple reasons. For example, it could be that the, the agent, the infectious agent, is in large quantities near humans and is coming in frequent contact with humans and that is caused a spillover. Or it is possible that humans have consumed those animals and that has caused a spillover or there may be mutation or other reasons. Eventually, the coronavirus species moved into humans. In 2002-2004 timeframe, the coronavirus from bats to civet cats to humans when it jumped, that virus species was named as SARS-CoV. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, COV for coronavirus. So keep that in mind because I'm going to talk more about the other names. So you have to keep in mind that in 2002, the jump that occurred, that outbreak virus species of coronavirus was called SARS-CoV. Then in 2012, in Saudi Arabia, there was one more coronavirus that jumped from bats to camels and then from camels to human beings. That outbreak was called Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS. That was also a coronavirus species. This is the third time that another species of coronavirus has jumped from bats to some intermediate host maybe pangolins, but it is not confirmed yet, and from there to human beings. This started in December 2019. Early December 2019 in Wuhan, there were a bunch of uh, cases of respiratory illness, which was uh, strange. And then on New Year, uh, China uh, informed the WHO that there is a epidemic that is going on. 9th January was the first death by this new virus. So now the name of this new virus, in the beginning, the name became Wuhan coronavirus. And that became a stigma for the Wuhan city and the, and the population over there. So then the name was changed to 2019 NCOV, 2019 novel coronavirus. It was also changed to novel coronavirus. And then finally, WHO decided that the name of the virus, this species that went from bats 
to probably pangolins or some other such animals to human in 2019 December, they named that species as SARS-CoV-2. Remember, I, I asked you to keep in mind the SARS-CoV, that is 2002. So this is the second time such a species has jumped over. So they called it SARS-CoV-2, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. This is the second time. The disease that this uh, pathogen causes is called COVID-19. I become very disappointed when some of the healthcare professionals also tell me that, hey, the virus name is COVID-19. No, the virus name is SARS-CoV-2. It is a species of coronavirus that is coming from bats to humans in 2019, December. And the disease that it is causing is called COVID-19. Now the uh, comparison, one important question I keep receiving from people is that, hey, is the coronavirus the same as influenza virus? So no, they're not, the symptoms are same. The respiratory distress and the respiratory symptoms are similar. However, they're not the same species. Influenza virus are orthomix viridae, while coronaviruses are coronaviruses. So they are two separate type of species. Now, coronavirus disease has following symptoms. When the corona, now remember one more thing before I talk about symptoms. Why, why? does the animal species of coronavirus cause disease which is severe and even death occurs in us compared to human coronavirus that has been sitting in us for, for hundreds of years? The reason is this, this is very, very important. The reason is that the, the animal species are able to replicate at 37 degree centigrade temperature. That is a normal body temperature. That means you put that coronavirus from an animal anywhere in our body and it would start replicating. This is not the case with the human coronavirus that only replicates here. So this is why this coronavirus is more dangerous. So what happens is the coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2, it goes into our mouth from another infected person. I talked about it in another video. Then it starts replicating. It can cause respiratory syndromes. For example, shortness of breath, cough, sneeze, fever. And then if it descends downwards, because it can, 37 degrees centigrade is available everywhere. If it descends downward in the respiratory system, then it can cause pneumonia and more severely acute respiratory distress syndrome. In the acute respiratory distress syndrome, what happens is that the lungs become filled with inflammation and with the fluids. And so the gaseous exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide does not occur correctly. That is almost like choking someone, that is like suffocating someone. So of course, if you block their lungs from functioning, they are not gonna survive very well. So that is when acute respiratory distress syndrome can cause death or it can convert into septic shock. But anyways, it can cause respiratory syndrome, it can cause acute respiratory distress disease and eventually septic shock, even death. The uh, incubation period is also a very, very important thing. According to WHO, the incubation period is anywhere from one day to 14 days. Now, what is the incubation period? Incubation period is where I have received the virus, it entered my mouth, it got stuck to my respiratory system, it is now replicating, but I do not have symptoms yet. Why do I not have symptoms? It has not replicated in enough numbers and quantity to cause damage and cause symptoms and our immune system has not responded to it and there is no inflammation, there is no attack and fever and those things have not occurred. So that is incubation period. The, the incubation period is anywhere from one to 14 days. Average median incubation period is 5.1 days. So about five days. What that means is 50% of the people who receive this virus will develop symptoms within five days. Now the uh, danger of the incubation period is that if I have received this disease today, if I have not disease the virus and it is replicating, but I have not developed symptoms, so I might be lurking around you and all being happy and everything because I don't have any symptoms, so I'm healthy, but I am shedding the virus in my droplets and I am making others sick. And it is said that the reproductive number of this virus, that one person can make how many people sick, it is thought that this virus, one person is making 2.5 people sick. So the numbers are just increasing because of it is because of the incubation period and the contamination or contagious uh, behavior during that time. 
the fomites, I talked about it separately. Fomites are also a reason. So remember this, if you want to prevent this virus, there are two things. Number one, hand washing from fomites. Don't touch your, your lips and your nose and your ear, uh, eyes. The second thing is don't stand near people because the virus can go up to one meter or two meter and it rides on the droplets and then it can enter your respiratory system and cause the infection and then the disease. So for the diagnosis, there are real-time PCR kits available that can help diagnose within a half an hour. And finally, the management. Remember, the management is more supportive. So that is, you know, help with the, with the cough and sneeze and the inflammation and the respiratory uh, uh, symptoms with uh, antipyretic maybe for fevers. In severe cases, the patient may need to be hospitalized and over there oxygen is given and the ventilator may be needed or even more drastic measure if the septic shock or organ failures have started. So this is what is about the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus. Remember the name is SARS-CoV-2 and the disease it causes is COVID-19. So thank you very much.